In today's video, I want to talk to you about approaching the net effectively. The approach shot is absolutely crucial if you want to be a great net player. And the most important concept I want you to understand is that you need to move through your approach shot. Do not stop and hit when you hit your approach shot. You need to move through and the goal is to get into an ideal position for the first volley, ideally as close to the net as possible. So getting close to the net for the first volley is absolutely crucial. In order to do that with your approach shot, you want to use a neutral stance most of the time. So on a forehand approach shot, that means the left foot in front like this, and then I move through as I hit my approach shot, which takes me close to the net. The big problem that I see a lot is that players try to approach with an open stance, so they hit like this, land on that left foot, and then move forward and you just cannot get uh, close to the net effectively like that. So you want to make sure that you move through. On the backhand side it's the same thing. You get that right foot in front and then you move through just like this. Now if you're out really wide towards the sideline then a lot of times it can be effective to start in an open stance like this but then once again you move through and step forward uh, with that left foot uh, in order to get close to the net. Let's take a look at that in super slow motion. Okay, here we'll see a forehand situation where I see that a short ball is coming and now I place my left foot in front for a neutral stance and I can really move through this approach shot with this kind of a setup as you can see right here and that big step around now I'm covering a lot of ground and I get very close to the net this way. Let's take a look how this continues. So I managed to get way inside the service line uh, for that first volley as you can see by the contact point right here. Let's take a look at that whole sequence one more time. The neutral stance. I'm moving through with aggressive footwork. Now I take a big step around another big step forward and now I can take advantage of this uh, volley opportunity right here. Now let's take a look at the same thing on the backhand side. Once again I'm using a neutral stance here. The right foot is in front and now I'm going to move through the approach shot trying to get as close as possible to the net stepping around big here with that left foot getting in close in order to hit that first volley as close as possible to the net and right here you can see that I'm well inside the service line when I make contact with this first volley okay so how can you practice this as usual I want you to work with progressions where we start with shadow swings and then increase the difficulty level step by step so in the first step, I'm going to simulate an approach shot, uh, move forward, split step, and then uh, simulate the first volley. And we want to focus on moving through the approach shot. Okay, we can start very slow in the beginning. So I get that left foot in front, neutral stance, move through the approach shot, split step, and one volley. And then I can do that over and over. On the backhand side, it looks the same way. I simulate the approach. Now I have the right foot in front move through like this, split step, and one volley. And you do that over and over, and in the next step you uh, increase the speed. And also one thing that can happen is you can hop off of that front foot if the speed is high or if the situation requires that. So that would look more like this. You hop and then you come around and once again try to move through and close in as aggressively as possible. Now in the next step I'm going to self feed the ball and do the same thing. You want to make sure that you toss that ball out in front a little bit and then really move through as you hit the approach shot. Let's go ahead and then simulate a volley just like that. Let me show you the same thing on the backhand side. Toss it out in front and then move through, simulate a volley. To make the situation even more realistic, I now practice with a practice partner. I'm going to hit the approach and then come in and hit one volley. Okay, and as you can see, I was about here for my first volley 
which is a pretty good position quite a bit inside the service line and from here I can usually hit a very good first volley if the ball comes up high I can hit a short cross court angle put it away or otherwise if it's low then I'll usually go down the line and then move a step even closer um, to the net. So when I hit an open stance forehand on the other hand usually my first volley position will be around here and uh, that leaves the court a lot more open. All right, so much on hitting effective approach shots. Now, one more thing I want to talk about here is I get asked a lot, should I approach down the line or across court? My recommendation usually is approach to your opponent's weaker side, approach to that side where it is more likely that the opponent is going to hit a weak passing shot um, that comes up high and that you can put away. So don't worry too much about approaching cross court or down the line. Uh, the only time that's not true is when you're really out wide towards the sideline then it usually does not make sense to approach cross court because you're going to leave the entire court open. Okay, now let me quickly recap what we talked about in today's video. In order to hit effective approach shots, you need to make sure that you move through the approach shot. Do not stop and hit. And usually you're going to have to use a neutral stance to do this, where you have the left foot in front on the forehand approach shot and the right foot in front on a backhand approach shot. Try to avoid open stance forehands whenever you're trying to approach the net. Do you struggle to get enough power on your serve? In the past two years I did over 200 serve video reviews for my online students and I realized that all of my online students struggle with one of two key serve power movements that are responsible for the large majority of the power on your serve. To find out more about these two key serve power movements simply click the link inside this video right now.